Good morning. I'm uh, Max Tegmark, and it's a great pleasure to uh, welcome you all to Asilomar. First of all, I would like everybody who's wearing an organizer name tag to stand up. Any questions you have? These are all the friendly faces you should remember. These are the people you should all go ask. I think we might have. All right, see, it works. <laughs> so I would like to thank all the organizers, first of all, who've worked so hard to make this happen. Thank you so much, folks. It's been really wonderful <laughs> to work with you. I would like to secondly thank uh, Jan Tallinn, Elon Musk, Alexander Tamash, the Open Philanthropy Project, and the Center for Brains, Minds, and Machines, whose generosity has made this whole conference possible. So thank you so much. <laughs> now please raise your hand if this is the first time that you're organizing a conference organized by the, that you're attending a conference organized by the Future of Life Institute. So for those of you who just raised your hand, let me tell you what we are all about. Our goal is simply to make the future of life, to help make the future of life as awesome as possible by making sure that the growing power of our technology is matched by the growing wisdom with which we manage it. And who attended the Puerto Rico conference we did two years ago? To your hands. All right, let's have a round of applause for the old timers here. Yeah, that's great. And the reason we should thank, I want to thank all of you in particular is because the process that you guys all started in Puerto Rico has had a huge positive impact in the two years hence. And the goal of this morning's session is to really highlight what's happened since Puerto Rico in all these different areas, in economics, in AI itself, in AI safety, in law, ethics, and governance. One amazing impact that happened thanks to Puerto Rico was, the, thanks to the generosity of Elon Musk and the Open Philanthropy Project, we've, we've been able to fund 37 research teams around the world who've been hard at work and have already published a dizzying list of fascinating papers here in a font way small to read. Another amazing thing that's happened is since then, there's been a real surge of conferences about making AI beneficial around the world, typically at mainstream AI conferences. This is what happened just in 2015 alone. And in 2016, things totally exploded with dozens of conferences on, on keep making AI beneficial also. It's really exciting. Another amazing impact of Puerto Rico in this process has been that the non, that small nonprofit organizations working towards this goal have grown a lot and been joined by a whole bunch of exciting new ones that simply didn't exist before. So more funding, a lot of more talented people getting into this. And it's not just happening in nonprofits and in academia. Also in industry, we've seen the birth of this amazing industry partnership on AI safety, which is well represented here. And um, there's also been, as you're all aware, a, a gazillion different reports published now by the US government, by the Stanford 100, and so on, and the IEEE, and so far, there are dozens and dozens. And what's so nice is that the AI community now is being heard. I'm really excited that the AI community has engaged in this conversation and started to lead it. Because if you go read these reports, they all have AI researchers involved in them. And I think this is a very exciting development. And not just AI researchers either, but economists, legal scholars, ethicists, the same wonderful interdisciplinary mix of people that I have the pleasure of looking at right now in this room. So thank you all who came to Puerto Rico and helped start this wonderful process, which we're continuing here in Asilomar. Thank you again.